Hello, it's me, Sunfire SG, and we are back for episode 57 of Craft Away. Now, last episode, at the end of the last episode anyway, Conniption Fit asked for an entire chest. Single chest, full of blue ice. I've since spoke to him and kind of explained that you can get a really fast boat road by using... It's a ratio of about one to four blue ice and packed ice. So I've gone ahead and gotten a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, he's going to give me a, a, a better price, a cheaper price, because uh, he was, I, I don't know, he, he said it was going to be a really, he said it'd be worth my time. But I don't know if you've actually seen it in Bedrock. I know in, in Java, when you're mining blue ice, if you've got efficiency five, it's uh, pretty much insta mine. But check this out. I'm out of the water. I've got efficiency five on my pick. It takes an age, and pretty much all the blue ice is underwater as well. So we were talking hours and hours and hours, and that just was not going to happen. I didn't have enough time to do that. But I mean, I've got them nine stacks. I've got I've got enough uh, blue ice left over to actually finish our boat roads as well. And we're just going to basically fill up the rest of it with packed ice, and then we're going to meet up with him and take that over. And there's quite a bit to show you as well because obviously I've. Uh, been doing a few live streams on Craftaway, and we've got quite a bit done. Uh, I've I've started doing a few new things, a few new plans around the lab as well, and uh, there's been a few fun little things that have happened in the Never as well. So we're we're going to cover all of those fairly early on. Uh, we're hopefully, depending on time difference, going to be meeting Conniption very very soon as well. Uh, just to kind of drop off the ice, he can pay me as well. I'd, I'd be interested to see what he actually pays me, since he says I'll make it worth your while. Um, I don't really feel like there's much that we need to be completely fair. But hey, uh, Suncorp is not going to turn down payments. Oh, can I? Hmm. Well, that's not ideal. Let's get back over here. How much do I actually need? I've not checked. Ah, oh dear. Come on, let's save the animals. Get back in the water, you, before you suffocate. There we go. Good deed for the day. Now, let's see. So we needed two stacks. So, yeah, we're, we're pretty much there already. Uh, so I'm going to finish off gathering all this ice up, make sure we've got full chest for him. I might actually get a few more stacks for the uh, stall in Spawn Town as well, just in case anybody else wants to kind of pick up a bit of packed ice. I have had quite a few people ask, so I probably should keep it stocked. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I'll, I'll get I'll get a few more stacks as well. So I'll be here a little bit of, for a little bit longer, and uh, I'll catch up with you guys probably in the town by by the lab. I, I've been thinking of names for the town actually. Uh, I've kind of settled on Sol Fuego because that's some fire, basically. And it's 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 a nice sounding town, to be honest. Sol Fuego. I'd, I'd love to live in a town called Sol Fuego. Sounds warm. Uh, and, and basically, there's only one thing I love more than myself, and that's nepotism. So that is why we're calling the town Sunfire, but in a in a different language. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's this is it's been a very strange situation this set SMP. We kind of set out to be, you know, quaint little medieval builders and it's kind of turned into this very strange global empire where I um basically name everything after myself. It's 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 not where I expected the series this series to go. <laughs> I'll catch you soon. Okay guys, just to let you know, I did have a couple of clips here that I was going to put in. Uh, unfortunately, I took them out because I ended up kind of repeating myself a little bit. We, we took a look around the town outside here, but as you'll see a little bit later in the episode, we actually take someone around the, and explain it all again. So there's no point in you seeing it twice, so I'd cut this footage, we'll just do the collab instead. Uh, enjoy. Uh, oh, also enjoy my little misadventure in the Never, where uh, I, I ended up going through the portal and it teleported me to the exact same coordinates as in the overworld, but in the never, so see for yourself. Okay, what? I went through the portal. This is where it dropped me. There's no portal. Did someone break the portal up above? 
I don't like this. This is not good. What on earth is going on here? How do I... I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I'm in a very vulnerable state right now. <laughs> um, help? What? Where's my portal? Do I have to pillar up? I feel like I need to pillar up now. That's not good. That's not good at all. Um, back soon, I guess. You know what? There is an easy solution to this. It's going to cost me an ender chest, but you know what? I, I think it's probably preferable than digging several thousand blocks. So let's get a couple of our things out here. We need a we need a tools chest as well. There we go. We've got an iron pickaxe in there. I can forfeit an iron pickaxe. Perfect. I mean, oh, actually, we got one that's fortune free mending. Yeah, let's get rid of that one. That's fine. Let's pop all of our stuff away. Those can go straight in the chest as well. Um, what else can we fit in there? All the packed ice can go away. That can go away. All those. No, we need that. Right. I think this is preferable. Hopefully it doesn't happen again, but I mean if it does, if I go if I go in completely burr, and I don't worry about a thing, then I should hopefully take off our armor. Don't want to lose that. Right, we're naked in the nether. We can break that, pop that in there. We'll leave this ender chest here, so if anyone finds an ender chest in the nether at these coordinates, if you're out this far in the nether, you madmen, then uh, this is this is the resting place of my poor bones after I go and punch this pigman in the face. I mean, we lose 12 levels, but you know what? It's better than mining. Now, are we, are we absolutely sure? Yeah, we've got everything gone. We're just going to lose that pickaxe and the ender chest. That's fine. Please, Mr. Pigman, do me a favor. Thank you. Now we should end up here. Now let's 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 see if this happens again. And and what coordinates we were supposed to come out at. Because if it happens again, then obviously there's a bug with the never at the moment. And it's gonna cause a lot of issues. And No, nope, this time. This time we are fine. We come out where we're supposed to. That is bizarre. And look, yeah, minus 371, minus 600. So I have no idea how I teleported. I wish I'd got that so you could see me walking through the portal and then getting teleported to minus 2970. Works fine now. Oh well. that That's very odd. Very, very odd. I'm kind of weirded out by that. Um, I'm actually just going to go to spawn like this because I don't want to risk losing another ender chest. We will just go to spawn naked and we'll get all our stuff when we're there. I, I'm not, not doing that again. <laughs> no sir, I don't like it. I don't like that at all. That is so weird. So, so weird. Oh well. It's sorted, it's fixed. In, in, in a way, it's kind of good. You know, I didn't have to get teleported. I'm fine with losing an iron pickaxe, it's not a problem. Uh, but we'll go ahead and do what we were supposed to be doing on the way to Spawn Town, which is to show you what I got up to in the live stream. I've kind of extended the aquarium, it's kind of become a little bit of a zoo now. Now we've still got a lot of work to do in here, obviously we've got a forest in here that I kind of want to fill with parrots maybe, as part of the, the, the enclosure, the zoo enclosure. As you can see, we've now got some polar bears in the nether. We've got a space here for the uh, pandas when they come. We've got some turtles. I couldn't think what to put in here. I didn't want to get more turtles. Honestly, these took so long to hatch. So I put chickens. And I love the fact that they're just making lots of little bubbles. I'm happy with that. 
and obviously the aquarium as well. Just, it's it's quite a nice little area, really. I'm, I'm happy with that. All right, so I've been asked to meet one of the uh, creeper delegates. Ah. So, hello, Mister Fire, I presume. It is indeed, and you would be Alpha Team Leader. Is that correct? Uh, that is affirmative, sir. Excellent, excellent. So uh, we've got uh, mutual friends that have asked us to meet. Yes, indeed. Indeed we have. And I believe I've got something for you, and you've got something for me. Uh, that is correct. Uh, do you have the package? I do, I do. Well, I've brought some things here I... uh, for payment. Hopefully that'll take care of everything. That's looking pretty good to me. I'm quite keen for that. Um, excellent, excellent. That uh, hopefully this little uh thing that we have going will keep Creepa off of your back for a little while. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You seem to be under the mis under the illusion that uh, you're you're in charge of me here. No, 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 no. I'm letting Creepa exist at the moment because you're putting my competition out of business. That's good for me. That's good for Suncorp. Huh. Well, I'll just have to talk to the director about that. <laughs> Good luck. Well, we met with a uh, representative of Creeper for, you know, dropping off that ice, but we didn't actually get to meet up with uh, Conniption Fit, so I don't really know what... Oh, I see a gamer tag down there. That looks like the man himself. So he's even sneaking around. Let's have a look. Chase him down, hang on. Mepshad. Get back here. It is him. Hello, sir. Oi. You. Oh. What are you hi. doing? Hello. Hello. <laughs> you know what? I always like to do this the first time that I see somebody back in the game again. Bap. Oh. <laughs> ha. Ha. I'm a fire. Phantom. 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 Fire. Phantom. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot him! Oh yeah, that was a good shot. Oh, that was a very oh. good shot. Come on, dude, get to him! Hey, what? Very nice. Thank well done, sir. Well done. <laughs> I was half expecting you to die then. <laughs> yeah, I kind of thought that I probably was gonna. You saw me on fire, and then the sky dragons came, and it was. Oh, yeah. perfect. That was that was that was very nicely done. I like that awesome. very much. But uh, yeah, welcome, welcome to Solf Wiggle. <laughs> the town of Solfuego. Cool. Um, cool name. Cool name. What, what can I do for you? Man? Did you get the package, uh, by the way? Um, uh, I did Mutual get friend. the package. Thank Excellent. you very much. Excellent. Um, yep, yep. Uh, you know, mutual friends are nice to have sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> yes. But yeah, we've we, I've been doing a bit of work on the town, uh, as you can see. It's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, I like the... Uh, the little park area here. Well, you need a place to kick back and relax in the in in the the, the glow of the industrial lab just right behind it. Yeah, it kind of needs some I mean, nature the, in the, the town. Giant radiation producing facility. Over, I mean, uh, lab uh, over there. <laughs> hey, who said anything about radiation yet? Um, uh, yet. <laughs> Emphasis on yet. Um, yes. <laughs> right. Hmm. Yeah, but, there's actually going to be um, there's actually a, a big plan for radiation to take a giant part in my mega base build. So ooh. that's a that's a cool thing that I'm going to have to figure out how to do. This place is neat, kind of cool. Tennis rackets and tennis balls and stuff you're selling over yep, here. It's kind yep, of like a clicky, sports clicky shop, shop sort of deal. Sports shop here. We've got some names that are I've asked people for names for these. Uh, we've got yeah. Sweeney's little bookshop. This one and the Forester name, and I've got a couple of names for the cafe, so I'm probably going to pick one of those soon as well. Yeah, I'm kind of partial to the name that I gave it, but you know, well, I mean, cool. <laughs> 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 we actually have a place um, where I live, and uh, I, it started in New Orleans, and it's called Cafe Du Monde, Ooh. and uh, it's like coffee and beignets. Oh, nice! And uh, so that's kind of oh, this place is cool. Yeah, I don't little know, it's such a quirky, quirky little. I mean, yeah. this is how much I use Elytra. Look at that. Like, I've just wasted an Elytra <laughs> on an armor stem that I'm never going to touch again. <laughs> I, I I'm, I'm going to smack you with a fish. <laughs> it's 
ridiculous. You know how long it took me to get an elytra? <laughs> and you, you stuck one on an armor stand? Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't this use them cool. that much. Little library uh, kind of place over here. Buy here, prices in chest. Oh, this is a, this is Sweeney's bookshop. Yeah, this I saw is this. Sweeney's bookshop. Yeah, yeah. So That's this is cool. Basically I have set up many, 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 many more books than he's got. So I might, uh, I might help him a bit with a little bit of a donation in his. That, yeah, gift I, I was chest. Planning, planning on doing something similar as well because I've got tons and tons from when I when I first started and I did fishing. I've got tons yeah. of books and I've just never used them. So. That's cool. I like how you've got like the little shopping mall sort of strip mall kind of thing going yeah, on with this, and then well, you, you got the the big build, you know, the this town hall over here. Yeah. And, well, I mean, which a is a really the, cool build in its own right. I think you. A lot of the a lot of the towns in New Zealand have got these sort of walk through shopping like not not malls, but like just a little district, a little a little area. You can have a bit of a sit down with a sausage roll or a pie, have some right. lunch. Get a coffee, do some shopping, and and basically the idea is all around here is going to be shops as well. Uh, yeah. It, speaking of which, you could probably pick somewhere if you wanted to build a shop of some sort. If you wanted, because I know Racecrafter is building one just over here, where the uh, the birch stuff is. I think he said he was building a deli. I think that's the plan that he's got. Yeah, that would be cool. Oh, that's going over here where these wood blocks are. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a rough idea of where it, like. I've said to him, if he wants to make it bigger, he can do. That's not a problem. Yeah. Just, you know, let me know and cool. I'll try and work the roading around because obviously I, I'd, I'd rather avoid having roads coming off at, at like, I don't, I don't want a road maybe, like, coming off here when you've got a corner here. It doesn't, doesn't really right, work. Right, yeah. But, um, I mean, this this probably isn't going to stay anyway. This this will go off into another road. It's all going to spread yeah. out eventually. But yeah, if you've got and any ideas, it rains again as it does on the craftaway realm. <laughs> Always, it's just bedrock. There we go. Let's get rid of yeah, that. yeah. Bam. So um, this corner up in the front up here by yes. the main gate um, has this been taken yet? No, not yet. So basically, the the plan that I've got is I'm going to have a little sort of, uh, I guess like a gatehouse. So there's going to be a little door for people to come in and out of the lab here, and obviously to open the gates for the for the cars to come in and in and out. But right, so kind of like a guard shack kind of thing. A guard shack, that's what I was looking for. Just a little guard shack here, and yeah. uh, you know that will control this this little door here. But uh, this okay. this entire area behind that, I'm not actually too sure what to do with it. I considered putting a fountain here, but then it's too close to that fountain there. Um, I have I've got an idea. Go on. What about an auto mechanic shop? Ooh. Yeah, I like it. And that could be yeah, quite good. I, I think they'll fit in quite nicely. Like, in the corner here, it could be like, you know, the, the storefront, uh, kind of the showroom part, yep, you know, yep, with yep, some yep. glass windows and like some tires on the wall or something. And then like back here, um, you come in from over here, maybe off of the street and yep. down this way. And there's a couple of stalls here with lifts and maybe a parts room in the back. That sounds fantastic. I like that Sweet. very much. I'm really looking and forward so to And so it we... shall be done. Oh, good. I'm really looking forward to when we get the uh, stone slabs because I kind of want to be able to have like the. I'll, I'll move this crosswalk for you, maybe. Yeah. Because that's kind of yeah, in the well, way. Yeah, um, well, I mean, the cars would have to turn in off of the flat street. So, you know, maybe. So, yeah, well, this this is going to. Down and. Yeah, because the, uh, the, the, when the stone slabs come in, we can actually have like proper like driveways. So it will still be lower than this slightly. And then it will come up. Into into here, but we can definitely right. get rid of this here because I don't think we need a pedestrian crossing here. We could potentially put a pedestrian crossing at the like the traffic lights. We're gonna have traffic lights in certain places as well. So cool, yeah. I'd I'd be happy to to take that on and do that little build over here. And then there was a there's another build that I would like to do here too. Um, yes. in my uh quick clip uh, build tip series, the one where I did the five awesome starter houses. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, that modern house would look cool. Yeah, go over for here, it. like that suburban house, like off maybe in the trees over yeah, here well, or something. I mean, I've got uh, a couple of different little cul-de-sacs planned out of, of uh, where the houses are going to go. But obviously, I want to get the the main bulk of the shops and stuff around here, and then yeah. we slowly uh, and maybe like a couple of office buildings, things like that. Right, and then we'll move off into the into the suburbs, so to speak. So that's where we'll be able to put in like out here. There'll probably be like a couple of streets over here. 
Uh, I started putting in a street over on the other side as well. So right. yeah, there's going to be plenty of places to put it. But cool. Because what I'll, what I'll my, do is I'll. Uh, oh, well, you go first. You go first. Oh, uh, yeah. No, what I was going to say is I had asked uh, my subscribers what which one of those houses they wanted to see me build, like ah. almost as a tutorial, oh, yeah. and they they picked um, the suburban house. That's oh, the one awesome. that they chose. So I figured that I could come and build it, you know, when it's yeah. time, I could build it over here and I could record that as, um, Absolutely. as you know, the build tutorial video. Absolutely do That'd it. Cool. So, I mean, All right. if you give me the, if you give me the dimensions of it, including like a, a yard or a garage, if you want that on it as well, then I right. can start mapping out some locations of where it could be. Cause I don't know if I want to fill this little lake in or not. Um, hmm. But we're going to have a couple of roads leading off here to different little uh, residential areas. So there's there's right lots of potential. Yeah, yeah that's 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 pretty cool. I really like this whole place. Thank you. It's it's starting well, to come together. Except for that, I don't like that. There's a big hole in the ground. Yeah, it's going to get filled in. I've filled in about four <laughs> or five of those already. There's, there's seriously right. so many of them around here. So many ravines and stuff. Yep, there is quite a bit. So that's cool. Well, uh, I'm going to do a quick little fly around here just to show everybody what's kind of going on in this whole area with the lab and everything. Go for it. It's it's crazy. The lab is cool. It's very awesome. The top of it is a mob spawner. <laughs> yep, it is at the moment anyway. It won't be I really like this but... whole uh, town design that you've got going on over here. It's really cool. Yeah, I, I, I kind of want to spend a bit of extra time to actually plan the town out a little. Um, yeah, have it feel like an, a proper town, like it, it, like it would actually progress as a town was built. So like not a manufactured one, but if you think about most towns, you've got the central bit, but town hall, it's all shopping, uh, office spaces, stuff like that, and it tends to become less and less dense residential the further out you go, and that's kind right. of what I want to go for. I think that's a good plan. Um, you know, and I, and I think the way that you have it going on here with the little shops and I mean, it's a cool looking build, but it's not overly complicated. So no, you can, no. you, you can knock the, these things out pretty fast. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's uh, the, the last episode I did time lapse and I was like, oh, man, this oh, I see a creeper. There's, yep, I was I'm like, going to get him. Go for it. Yeah, I was like the last. Yeah, the last time I thought, oh, man, this is probably going to be too long for the song that I've picked. The song's quite short. Nah, the song was actually longer than the time lapse ended up because it was just that quick of a, <laughs> a build. Um, yeah, I mean, that's the thing with these sort of modern shop designs; you can make them look really quite cool in a very, very short space of time. It doesn't take yeah, that they, long to and they don't these. have to be huge. You no, know, no, they don't. Minecraft actually lends itself to that way, but I mean, you know, Mojang has said that this game is meant to be set in like a medieval setting that's why we're running around with swords and stuff yeah i like to you i know? like to i like but, uh, to i don't like to follow the norm um oh no <laughs> we're, we're bucking we're bucking trends here <clears throat> absolutely my mega base build is going to be it, it's gonna be weird the the idea behind it which I don't think I've even announced this to my uh, my subscribers yet, so this will be a cool thing for them. But uh, the idea behind it is that there was there's going to be a town quite like what you've built here, um, which is is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And up on a hill uh, away from the town, there's going to be a nuclear reactor, nice. kind of a facility that would have been powering the town with a fusion reactor. You know, like smokestacks, kind of like what you've got on your build over there. Oh yes, um, but there's going to be a big meteor in the side of the nuclear reactor facility. <laughs> and it is going to have leaked um, radiation, <clears throat> orange glass, all uh, through the streets of the city and forced the inhabitants out off the coastline into a, a floating biodome over the ocean. Oh, nice. So the, the city itself is going to be just sort of like this, you know, kind of sort of modern, sort of suburban kind of ish, you know, not not real detailed, just just enough that people would know that it's a city. Yeah. You know, and then the the biodome thing is where all the details really gonna go. It's gonna have giant chains holding it down to supports that go down into the ocean. 
and um, like four big like turbine engines that are always running that keep the thing hovering up above the ocean. Very nice. Have you so, considered but, filling the the sort of ruined town with uh, zombie villagers? No, but that's an epic idea. Yeah, I'm that's your maybe. job. You should do that. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wouldn't even. I don't even know how to do that. Can you turn a zombie a villager to a zombie villager? I don't. You can. Know. You can turn a villager into a zombie villager. You've just got to have like um. You get them attacked by a zombie, and I think I don't know if it's a chance or if it's. 100%, but it knocks them down to fairly low health. Um, but yeah. yeah, if you captured a zombie and you made some kind of villager breeder that dropped them down with the zombie, you should end up with like a ton of zombie villagers pretty quickly. That would be pretty cool. And then at that point, do they become persistent or no? What do you mean by persistent? Like they won't despawn ever. Oh, um, they they may despawn, but I mean, what you'd want to do is if you put them in a like if you put them inside shops and name them, or put them in right. mine, if you put them in a mine cart like I've done with the uh, GG Munchies zombie up there, then yeah, they don't yeah. despawn. They they will huh. stay there forever. Well, that's a really cool idea, and um, I know that I, I need to get started on this thing here pretty soon because season two. Is coming in like a year from now. Yep, it's creeping up. Yeah, and it's probably going to take me the whole year to finish that build. It's going to be ridiculous. Well, so I'm, I'm going to be getting started on that very soon. And I mean, I've got the lab that's that's getting close to completion now. We've got a few things inside that we need to do, but yeah. that's getting pretty close. Then it's the town, and that's not everything I want to do. You know, with with this sort of set of builds, but it does give me a bit of time for collabs. Now that the main bulk of this build is done, it gives me a bit yeah. of time to do to do more collaborations. So I, I'll probably be able to help you out with certain things as well. That would be absolutely cool, Excellent. absolutely cool indeed. First thing I've got to do though is uh, get the boat road built out there because it's like eight thousand blocks away uh, from spawn. <laughs> well, I tell you so. what, tell you what, hit me up and. Uh, we could we could probably do that together as well at some cool. point because I could I could help yeah, you well, out with uh, that getting that boat road. I mean, I, you've seen my tunnel. I'm pretty much I'm, yeah, that's I'm well versed exactly in making them. Let's put it that way. Yeah, <laughs> and that's a uh, oh, dude. There's a horse over here. There's, there's like a million horses. I've got a whole bunch of them out in the back of the uh, behind yeah. the lab. <laughs> I've got. I was half, just thinking that I've got that, five like, or six of them this, underground. Uh, this spot in the city right here might could be some kind of like a park and there could be some horse it, like stable. It is actually going to be a park. End. This, this, okay, the, the uh. park is the fence here is going to kind of curve around here and go up there, but the park is probably going to come up to maybe about here and then yeah. come across and match up with the road again. And once it does that, this whole area is going to be a park. And I've kind of set a challenge for myself that I, everything I do in the park, I want it to be. Uh, like fully man-made. I don't want to spawn trees in, or if I do, I want to change ah. them. Like I kind of want it to be everything in there is unique. Yeah, these really trees are quite tricky. cool. I like these. Yeah, these. these I, I I grew these just for spruce wood, but I've actually kept them because they're they're quite nice spruce trees. Yeah, I'm going to uh, impromptu collab on your park. There's a path. <laughs> I'll put it back. There you go. That's nah, cool. That's cool. All right. All right, well, man. Um, Thanks for stopping I by. I hope the done. hope the uh, ice that we we gave you helped. And uh, uh, yeah, yes, hit, hit it, me up. I will happily spend some time uh, sorting out that boat road for you. Yep. Cool. That works for me. Well, I am going to fly myself back over to whence I came. The portal? Which is your door, and then go to, <laughs> to the portal. You made it sound way more, like, adventurous than it actually is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, that's the beauty of uh, doing it, YouTube stuff. It is, <laughs> Onward! yeah. Onward! Through the door. <laughs> All right, man. See you later. Yep. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. I really appreciate you watching. It is a slightly longer episode than we normally do, but I kind of wanted to get everything from the collab in the so he kind of understood 
what Conniption has planned, go and subscribe to the man. He's a great creator. Um, also kind of explain what I had planned for that town as well. And I apologize. I noticed on the playback, a little bit of the footage was a little bit janky and, uh, I'm not too sure why it has had a little bit of lag on the server, but I wouldn't have thought it'd be that much to actually appear on the video that visibly. So hopefully that disappears. If it doesn't, uh, I'll have a play around and see what we can figure out there. But as I said, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.